It's pretty busy. We basically have to put out, we call them fires, air conditioning going down in the classroom, roof leaks, different needs for setups throughout the building, getting ready for sporting events. It's a pretty high-paced job. If, if the students are helping with recycling by placing the, the items in the proper recycling bins, then everything works well to where we're able to recycle 100% of all materials. I know that we had an issue with full bins of paper where some students have come through the hallways and thrown sodas in there and stuff to where we just had to throw it all away, which is unfortunate. Well, right now we are in the process since we switched back from the bag milk to the carton milk. We're trying to figure out how we're going to get the students to dump their milk so we have dry cartons to put in a separate recycling bin. So if we do implement this plan, you have to pour all your milk out before you're able to replace that in the recycle bin. Because if not, the milk will contaminate all the recycles that are already in there, so we're going to end up having to throw it all away. I think we should put multiple recycle cans outside for the fact of all of the different sodas that are drank in the waters, because all of that ends up just in the trash. And I bet you we'd get between 10 and 15 full bags every night. Give them, give them their service learning hours for that. They can come either after the game or we actually do stadium cleanup on Saturday morning. They can have them in separate bags. I know the kids won't want to come out Saturday morning, but we can leave the bags sitting there. They can haul them off, however, and that'd be an extra way for them to earn their hours. I think that'd be a great way to do it. I know we do recycle quite a bit because there's we have two compact recycles and they they're full every day. So at least we're doing our part on that.